Hi everyone, the Random Home Cook here. Today I would like to share 10 types of chicken stock I normally use for a variety of preparations. It took me a while to collect all these in one video. I decided to rank them from level 1 to 10. The level are related to difficulty, preparation time and intensity of flavor. In some cases to the number of ingredients. Cost is also a factor related mostly to increasing ingredients amounts. But let's begin. Level 1 is the chicken stock made with a chicken cube and a clove of gut. Cold water, I add the ingredient and I wait until it's reduced as I want. It is ready in 10-15 minutes and I use it when I am in a rush or I need a chicken stock fast for an improvised risotto, for example. I also use it as a light liquid meal if I feel under the weather, maybe if I got a cold and I want just something light, warm and comforting. This is great with a little bit of pasta, like vermicelli nests or capelli d'angelo. Here how it looks. Level 2 is the chicken stock made with chicken pots instead of cubes and some gut. I personally feel that pots taste better than the cubes to justify the line, but that might be a personal preference. The preparation is the same and the quick solution when stock from scratch is not available. I use pots for the same use mentioned in level 1 as well as for gravies and flavor boost of roasts. Of course, if I need less than a full pot, I might prefer to use cubes that are more easily portioned. Level 3 and 4 are basically level 1 and 2 respectively, with the addition of some vegetables. For example, carrot, onions, celery, but those can vary. I also use courgette or leeks added or swapped for other ingredients. The vegetables add flavor, but also increase a little the preparation time. Level 5. This is the first level in which I buy chicken, and I use parts of it. Basically, the chicken leftovers, like bones from other preparations. When, for some reason, I need a boneless chicken leg, for example to make chicken teriyaki or pan fried chicken, I put the bones and any other trim aside, and then I make a stock from them. I put all the bits in cold water, bring to a boil, and I skim the surface when foam forms, and then boil it for a while, like minimum 30 minutes. Normally, due to the few bones used, turns to be a pretty weak stock, maybe even less flavorful than the previous levels. However, it ranks higher due to the use of raw chicken and for the extra steps of getting the bones out of the meat. Regardless, this is an amazing stock to use for some Japanese recipes like miso or hot pots. This is why it has definitely its place in my kitchen when I need a chicken stock base using parts that would be normally discarded, avoiding waste. Level 6. I use the same bones and skin as before, but I roast them first. Other parts can also be roasted, but I'm doing this one normally with bones. Then I make the stock in the same way of the previous level. The roasting helps to provide a little more flavor but still quite mild, but the roasting process give a little bit more color to the stock. Level 7. Regardless if I roast the bones or not, the addition of vegetables provides some more flavor, and the stock become a vegetable stock with a chicken flavored kick. Level 8. Instead of just bones, I use the main bone carcass. This is different from the bones that have almost no meat attached and the extra meat makes the stock taste better. 
one or more carcasses are added to cold water, vegetables, some black pepper and then everything is brought to a boil, skimmed when needed and in this case cooked for over 40 minutes. If I have more carcasses the cooking time increases even up to a few hours. I keep adding water as needed. Level 9. I use a whole chicken. In this case, vegetable and spices are a must for me. Onion, celery, carrots and garlic are a minimum. But other vegetables can be added, such as tomato or a piece of ginger. Same process, cold water, bringing it to the boil, being careful to skim it before boiling point. The stock is the second most flavorful that I normally make. I use this for any preparation, however, because of the cost and cooking time, which sometimes reaches uh, 3 hours, if not 4, and the effort, I tend to use it for special meals in which stock is at the center of the attention, like cooking my handmade stuffed pasta like tortellini. Level 10. For this stock, I also use a full chicken, or most of it, but I portion it. This stock is the one I think more complex of all the one presented. It requires a sofrito, a lot of spices and a few steps before leaving it to boil. It is packed with flavors and I normally use this highly spiced stock for Arabic recipes. The meat is added to the sofrito and tossed around to avoid sticking to the pot and burning. This process allows not only to enhance the stock flavors, but also to obtain a boiled chicken that will taste delicious once cooked. Here, the 10 levels side by side. If you like this video and you want to see more, please consider clicking subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos.